right, boys and girls? Well, our Bible paper yesterday did not go with the lesson, but that was because we were behind today. So we're going to catch up. Um, today says special treasure, and it's from Psalm 119, verse 127. Can you imagine? 127 verses in just Psalm 119. Let's read this together. It says, treasures are special and are very valuable. Answer the question. What is the greatest treasure that God has given us that tells us about Jesus? The Bible. And just remember the song. The B, capital I, B, L, E, Bible. Next it says, fill in the circle next to each reason you should memorize verses to keep God's word with me. Yeah, you always have it with you if you memorized it. <laughs> so I can tell others about God. Yeah. Yeah can use a verse to tell them about God. I love what they say. Yes. I love the verse that says, even if 10,000 fall by one side and 10,000 by another, it will not come to your tent. That's a great verse. Those are verses that you just love what they say. Or things like, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Yeah, I love those too. I have to for school. No, that's not a very nice reason to memorize. We shouldn't act like that, right? Because the Lord's done so much for us to please God. Yeah, we want to do anything we can. We love him. He's so nice to us. Now, this next part says, draw a picture of of yourself with your special treasure from God. So I'm going to let you do that later. But for now, I want you to flip to the other side with me. So you can come back to that and draw you with your Bible. But for now, turn to this page. So then we would be where we are supposed to be in our Bible packet. Let's see what this says. Obeying God's word, Nehemiah 8. The people of Israel had stopped obeying God. Ezra read God's word to the people. They were sorry and wept because they had not obeyed. They repented of their sin. Ezra led the people to obey God's word. Use words from the word bank to finish the sentences. Look, this is actually a booth bank, isn't it? Look, that's so cool. Let's read what it says. Come, pull, and complained. Oh, I hope you don't do that today. Cared, feast, rejoiced. Let's read them twice. Complained, complained. Cared, cared. Feast, feast. Rejoiced, rejoiced. Okay, so number one says, The people obeyed God by worshiping him with a blank. Hmm. Feast. Can you imagine that to obey God, you get to have a big old feast? That doesn't sound so hard, does it? F E A. S T. The thing about God is he does the hard part and gives you the easy, doesn't he? 
A feast is not hard. The feast helped them remember that God blank for them in the wilderness. God cared for them. C A R E D. He sure did care for them, didn't he? He gave them manna and quail, and they complained all the time, but he didn't get upset with them. He just kept giving them new mercies every morning, didn't he? God's people obeyed God's word and rejoiced. R E J O I C E D. Hey. That's awesome. We didn't have to use the word complained, which is not good to do, is it? No, we're not supposed to do that. Let's read what this says. Jesus always obeyed God's word. We should also finish the sentence with your own words. I obey God's word by blank. Maybe you obey his word by helping mom or being kind. Maybe you obey his word by um, obeying the first time mom says to do something. Or um, there's all kinds of things that you could do to obey God's word. So um, write whatever you would like. Don't worry about spelling. Just think about it and sound it out. And it's okay if it's spelled wrong. Great job today on Bible, and I'll see you in our next video.